What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is the Geordi Bomb, the one and only. And today we're gonna be playing some NBA Live 18. This is the first of many demos that we will be playing in the next three months. We're gonna be playing stuff like NBA 18. We're gonna be playing um NBA 2K18 demo. If there's one or a prelude, if it's a prelude, then 100% I will be playing it because I missed out on 2K17's prelude and I can't be asked to play it now. Uh, but if there's a prelude for 2K18, then of course. Um, if there's a WWE 2K18 demo, you, of course I'll play that. Um, FIFA 18, PES 18, whatever you think of, I will be playing it. Not the full game, of course, but the free demo. Because all of you know that I I have my sights set on WWE 2K18 already, pre-ordered it already, no extra money whatsoever for any other game. So basically, um, also in December we might be playing some Ratchet and Clank, the PS4 version, the reimagining, which I'm not a fan of, but it's Ratchet and Clank. I've got to play it. But we're here to talk about NBA Live 18. The demo has just came out last this week or last week i don't know there was a lot of people playing the beta um well there was a few people uh, from youtube playing the beta including my boy or big red ny one of my favorite youtubers you need to go check him out um i don't like he doesn't know me personally but anyway and i'm actually i might try to get ted to rat to play this game I, I might i might suggest this game to him in his next live stream but anyway welcome to nba live 18 there's a new thing it's a lot about the journey from FIFA 17, and um, it's called The Rise, and we're going to be playing that today. So, let's get this. So, the last NBA Live video game that I played was NBA Live 14, demo. I did play NBA Live 16 as well, demo. Um, but NBA Live 14, I did play quite a lot on the old channel. I might have played it once or twice on this channel. I don't know, but I did play that game quite a lot. I think that had Kyrie Irving on the front of it. Uh, I don't know. Might have been Stephen Curry. I don't know, but it, it had Kyrie Irving as the main star. And this time, it's this guy. I have no idea who he is. But um, anyway, we're going to get into Chapter 1 of The Rise. Chapter 1, The Rooker Game. Scan yourself and get your face in the game. Cool. All right, so uh, player info. Let's complete your player info. <laughs> the one. Your background sets the stage for who you are. Both well, not only is he battling for New Japan Pro Wrestling, right? If there's one thing you need to improve, EA, in the main game, I know I won't be playing it, but if there's one thing you need to improve in this game, is this thing. I think, you, I think you guys should actually concentrate on NBA Live other than FIFA. I think FIFA's dying now. I don't like FIFA anymore. I don't even like PES anymore. But then again, that's probably due to the fact I don't like football anymore. Or soccer. Because we're playing NBA, I'll just call it soccer. All right, anyway. Um, God, this is hard to type. Garment your name. Have we got the name Jordan or Jordy? There's definitely going to be Jordan. I mean... Michael Jordan's a fucking legend. If you haven't got Michael Jordan, Jordan's name in this game, and whatever. Could be the name of Jordy, I don't know. Right, I'm just saying that's taking too long. I, I'm not a fan of this part. I am not a fan of it. Are you telling me Michael Jordan is in this game? Well, I, no. Are you telling me Michael Jordan is a basketball legend and you don't have his name in this game? What? What? Who am I supposed to be called? Fucking Mayo? Gay? McDonald? But fucking Grady? I don't know. Oh. I, I'm telling you, if I have to be get, if I have to be called Gordon in this game, I'm gonna kill myself. Paige, Owens, Outlaw. We could use Outlaw. Pain. Yeah, here comes the pain. Pits. <laughs> I 
Fuck it. We'll use Outlaw. Just wait there. I, I, uh, I'll be back when I finish my guy. Out of all the places in this in England, all you've got is London and fucking Aldershot. I've never ever heard of Aldershot in my life. Anyway, let's go with London. Let's go. What we got? Right, can we have England and Arkansas? England is my city. Okay, we've got to go with school. Boston College. Boston United. I, I, I'm assuming that's Boston United. Is there Coventry? Cambridge. It's got to be Cambridge. You don't have Cambridge. I'm triggered. Um... I'm a savage, call me Randy. <laughs> I'm a savage, call me Randy, bitch. Air Force. Definitely. I, I don't know. Where's the word England? You've got fucking Denmark. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go with Boston College, Jersey number. We need your boy number 10. Should I? Should I go number 10? Oh, this music. Like, NBA Live have the best music. We're gonna go with number 12. Let's start creating your look. If you haven't already done so, download the Game Face HD app. Scan yourself. You've told me this! <laughs> Come over. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, Wiz Khalifa. I don't even know if he had. It's Wiz Khalifa though. I think that's mostly like my haircut right now. Oh, we're gonna keep looking through just in case. I am gonna say these hairstyles are kind of shit. Like the textures in it are really good. Other than that, it's really shit. Fucking Seamus, mate. It's the same the boy got done. I think Pez have the best hairstyles ever. Right, that's the wrong haircut. There you go. That's the one we want. Facial hair. Boy! Facial hair greatness starts here. Are <laughs> we only want a slight stubble, but we also want some... Um... There isn't really much choice either. Let's complete the player info. Your background sets the stage for who you are. State. Both on and off the court. Okay, from London, England. It's time to decide what kind of player you want to be. First, let's choose your player type. Cool. Guard, wing, or big. Oh, I, I am a big. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what these things are. <laughs> I love basketball, man, but... Oh, this is for the Americans. I just don't... What is that guy's eyebrows? <laughs> Alright, so... I'm just gonna... Oh, I love it! I, I love the feeling that you're just in a completely new game. I just love that feeling. But anyway, what we got? So, I'm just gonna read all of this. And uh, I'll be back in a minute. I, should we... God. Usually run the offense. Oh wait, this depends on the size as well, so big would be like giant. Well then... I don't, I don't want to be too small, I'm, I'm just saying. Wait a minute, I'm a midget. I'm a midget in real life. Ooh. Oh, 
Well, if I think about how I play at like my school and stuff like that. Hmm. Runs the office while lost of space and followers not down shooting ability. Not me. Plays like Steph Curry. Wow. Uh, do I play like Steph Curry? Why is he doing Nazi salute? I don't know. Point shooter. Runs the offense while lost of space. Blah, blah, blah. Russell Westbrook uh, slasher uses quickness and finesse to slash through the defense and finish at the rim. Backcourt defender. Pesky guard. Capable of getting into his opponent's head and dominating the defensive perimeter. I like the sound of this guy. I like. I really like the sound of that guy. Um, playmaker, all round point, all around point guard. Controls the game and focuses on making plays for others. Not me. Like I do pass around a bit, but I don't focus on making plays for others. I am literally a slasher. I'm a slasher. It's time to change your player's height and weight. Every choice you make here will affect your player's physical capabilities, both good and bad. So choose wisely before you lock in. And we could go really small if we wanted. I don't know. Um, are we like we? In real life, I am like just under six foot. Oh, actually, I am a bit under six foot. I'm like that. Stamina needs to be a, like a lot smaller. Stamina can stay the same. Strength is just bad. So I think we'll put it at like the bottom because I've I have my strength is shit. Name player, you can change the player's name at any time in appearance, slash player info. First name Jordy, last name Popperman. Whatever. Let's do this. Play style, height, and weight are permanent and cannot be changed later. Just with every other game. I like that. My name in big. Oh, Jordy Popperman. I love it. I like this game. The soundtrack is sick. They need this kind of soundtrack for WWE. They really do. The Rise. Like millions of other this is just like NBA. This is just like WWE 2K17. You wanted to be a star. By the way, I'm sorry for all these cutscenes. You can always compare, um, guys. And become the greatest to ever play. Yeah. You dream of being the one, but the road to stardom is never easy. Okay, the subtitles are a bit off. And disappointments. So just ignore the subtitles. Don't read them. At any time, and one day, it happened to you. No, I won't. You went from I never get injured. Lottery pick to a kid who may never even play college ball again. My sophomore year, the fall. Now look, it's always bad to hear about injuries, especially to college kids. Of course. Yeah. Did I get injured? <laughs> I didn't even start my career when I got injured. Because we are two weeks into the season, and one of the top NBA prospects in the country I'm not goes down potentially with a season-ending injury, a knee injury. That's a killer. I couldn't agree more. And I heard he was carried off the floor today. All you can do is find yourself hoping that he'll make it back. That's the bottom line. But my heart goes out to him because I didn't expect this. This is the devastating injury. Did I get injured already? I haven't even played one game. doctor broke the news. Torn ACL, sprained MCL, and a torn meniscus. So I basically did a Seth Rollins and killed my knee. <laughs> Just fucked it up doing a sunset clip. I'm sorry, Seth. Is still mentioned, not as a prospect, but as a cautionary tale. Seven months later, June 24th, 2016, the return. Now there's another huge story in this year's draft. A record number of underclassmen, 30 of them, undrafted. And I hope, anyway, that this is a lesson. This serves as an example to college players. I'm not talking about the ones who are genuinely one and done. The guys you know are going to be lottery picks. I mean the rest of them. The not, they're not sure shots. They're not sure they're going to be lottery picks. Don't just use the college system for a year thinking you're going to bounce. It doesn't work like that. Please, please. If you don't have the talent, it doesn't work. you got to be cultivated please, in the system. Please, please, There you go again with your blanket generalization. You know how you are all, Max. The war is me. Oh, my Lord. I can't, I can't take it. I just can't take it. It's a case by case basis. You can't just blanketly decide this should not be one and done or this should be one and done. you got to go on a case by case basis. Some dudes deserve to be one and done. Some people don't. It's on a case 
by a sprite face. That, that is, is my, my point. point. Thank, Thank you for making it for me. Everyone <laughs> thinks they're the exception to the rule. And members of the media like um, Stephen A. Smith are encouraging these kids to come out early. Look, man. Bottom line is this. You got to take this into consideration. You had two dudes. They were called the Hype Brothers. Then you had Nick Allen. This kid had a lot of promise. What does he do? He goes to college. Very uneventful first year, no doubt. The second year, he was pretty good. So here's the problem. The NBA, it's not about pretty good. You need to be great on the collegiate level, on the prep level, in summer leagues and what have you, in order for you to get the stature that you deserve. That's the bottom line. I like this. I like this element. That's my point. There's another example. I just say the high brothers. I wasn't talking about one individual. I was talking about two. What happened? What it done in a different way? One year, one ACL injury later, and look where he's at now. His future is clearly uncertain. So you got to take advantage of that opportunity because you never know when an injury is going to cost you everything. Stephen A, listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. You give one argument for why a kid should come out early. A one and done situation. I can give you 30 arguments this morning alone why they should stay in school. And now you have to wonder what a kid like Nick Howard, who has given up his college eligibility, does next. What does he do next? First of all, don't sweat the technique. The argument, the one argument, as long as you're strong enough, that's all that matters. That's number one. Number two, the Hype Brothers was something special. What they really, really need to do. I'm going to tell you what they need to do, Mac. They need to get back to playing together. And my sources are telling me the ACL injury has been completely healed. So go on a pro-am circuit. Go in summer leagues. Do what you got to do to get back on the court together to remind everybody of what you want to work. Because once you pull that off, the sky's the limit. That's what they need to do. Get back to playing together. Playing ball together, together because, because when, when people, people see what you can do as one, the other the arguments don't, don't really matter. matter. Like, like I said, said don't, sweat don't sweat the technique. The technique. Finally, <laughs> this is where you can find your experience points. Blah blah blah. Hype is the type of reward based on you per upon your game performance. The better you play, the more you get. Play streets to earn street hype, which unlocks street crates and pro I am um, tours. Uh, tour events. Play the league to earn league hype, which unlocks league crates in the store. The totals of your street and league hype add up to your overall hype level, which can also unlock crates and events. Blah blah blah, reward points, we'll see. Hey Jordy, did you. New conversation. Hey Jordy, did you catch Stephen A tonight? Like I said, Hype River's gonna get back on the court. Street ball, pro AM, etc. I wanna believe the hype, but those boys gotta hashtag earn it. Well, I would back. In a minute, I'm gonna go get my dinner. I'm paranoid that I'm gonna be in the middle of the match. My mom's gonna call me down for dinner, so I'm gonna see if I can get my dinner before we can do a match. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, let's get this started, guys. The, the Rise Chapter One. Go. So what's gonna happen next, boy? Friend, hey Jordy, did you catch Stephen A last night? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, interesting. My phone is blown up over it. I'm sure it is blown up. That's what happens when you get called out on ESPN. You see me today, Dak and Max know who we are. I'm going to be responding to these calls and texts all night long. Bizarre. A little hairy. True, so the man does have a point. What do you think? Is that knee ready to go? I think so. The coaches haven't let me try it out, but Doc says I'm ready. Knee feels great. I think the coaches have been too cautious. I'm ready to go. I'm going to go for that one. Then we should listen to Doc. There's a pickup game over the rocker, and well, see if we just did a throw down, throw down the challenge on national TV. Are you in? Yeah, let's do it. I guess I have to test me out at some point. I'm a little curious, curious uh, about how we're gonna look look out there. I'm in. Hmm. Reward, and then reward rise up. I don't know what the rise up thing is. Is that like a chest or something? I don't know. We're gonna go for this one. Looks like you get more rewards here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got my dinner up here. Anyway. Alright, so the cutback begins here on Harlem's legendary court. Rooker Park, New York, New York. <laughs> Don't know why they call it New York, New York. NY, NY. Mm. But can I change my outfit? Because that outfit looks like trash. Just saying. 
Really? <laughs> Look at me, I'm a, I'm a midget with the crew. <laughs> I'm like the one midget with the crew, man. Shit, wish I, wish I made a kite taller. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally just gonna be this one, like, 14 year old. Along with the, um, along with the old people. Anyway, New York City, New York. I got a cheese sandwich right there as well. We'll be having that after. Oh, what's this? Cutscene, cutscene. Well, if that's a cutscene, I'm eating my sandwich. Mmm. It's also where Julius Irving became the doctor. In 1974, the park was respectfully renamed Holcomb Rucker Park in honor of the tournament founder. Now, many have influenced the growth of the Rucker since, but none more heavily than the late great Greg Marrix, founder of the EBC. Many would argue that the Rucker is the birthplace of true streetball and the crossover dribble. Considering New York City's penchant for flashy guard play, there are few who can challenge that. After the legendary exploits of Rucker alumni like Rod Strickland, Rafa Austin, and Kyrie Irving, it goes without saying that getting crossed up or banged on can happen to anybody at any given moment. It's no wonder that this unassuming uptown playground has become the most widely recognized streetball court in the world. Mm -hmm. Rucker Park. Right, let's do this. First match, baby. I'm so fucking tiny. Right, here we go. Um. Oh, am I here? Oh, sick. Okay, let's do this. Work round you. Come on. Get in. Oh. Okay, so I, I'm tiny, that's one big flaw. Would have thought I'd be bigger than this, but you know. Shit. Shit. Ah. Pass me that. Oh, ho, ho. Put it in. Oh, wait, you're not nice. Oh, wait, yeah, you are. Come on, man. I'm tiny. I don't like it. Ah! Oh, I should have made my guy a bit bigger. Let's see what we got. Oh! <laughs> there you go. First goal. Blocked him. I want to make my guy bigger because. Oh, can I make my guy bigger? Fuck it, I'm gonna restart, make my guy all bigger, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so basically, I basically can't change anything, I can't even delete my guy. So, um, we're gonna have to go along with the midget. Check names, break it down. Yes, pass it to me, motherfuckers. Oh, look, the guy's smaller than me. Oh, okay, so I'm not just like the only guy who's tiny as shit. Woo! All right, I might, I might just start passing, you know? Ah, save me. Team go. That's my, that's my boy, Dan Howard. I think, I think his name, I think his name's Dan Howard. That's about the same size as me, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm not a midget here. Oh, give me that. <laughs> yes. Big shot. Dunk. Come on, bitch. Oh, 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 oh. You're not one of my homies. Fuck. Um. Shit, he's gonna bank that. 
Oh, I'm, I'm too small to make the... Um, maybe I should just stay in offense. I should just stay in offense. Oh, oh, dunk it. Boom, there you go. Bad slot, bad shot selection. I'll say that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Stole it again. Oh, come on! Oh, let me steal it, let me steal it, let me steal it. Oh, they, pa they pass it to the tall guys. Okay, I'm making a run, I'm making a run. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. What the fuck just happened? I, I On the right stick, you can shoot as well. Oh, I've got no stamina. Don't get boom. I like this. I actually like this. We like a 73 overall or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. Okay, I built up the stamina back. Okay. Oh no! Ah, oh, god damn it! Lance Stevenson, I've heard of you. We are winning. I like the soundtrack. I'll say that. Oh, God. Give me that. Shit. That was really bad. I'll say that. Oh, yes! Don't it. Okay, celebrating. Okay. Oh, you can celebrate in this game? Okay, um... Shit, um... Oh, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. That shouldn't have gone in. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> that, that's one of the FIFA celebrations, I'm pretty sure. Come on, I'm, I'm just trying some really bad shots. I don't know why I need to stop. But this is my like, this is my first match, okay? The knee, the knee looks perfect, okay? I got three goals. Or oh, I don't know what you call them in, the, in basketball, I don't know, okay? I like basketball, but I barely know anything about it. Shit. Um, okay, let's make a run, let's make a run. Oh my god, I keep thinking the um, right stick is like to dribble faster like it is in the old games. Oh, you cheap prick. Should have passed that. Oh, wait, he wasn't on our team. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, come on. He's a good drive as well. Oh, 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 give it to me! Oh, come on. Shit. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this game. I, I might just do episodes two, episode two straight after this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ain't no stopping me, no. Oh, ho, ho! Oh, yeah. I'm loving this game, man. I'm actually loving this game. It's offensive assist. Okay. Let's make a run for it. Let's make a run. Let's make a run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. All right, come on. All right, 75. Can we get 76? I have no idea what the numbers are about. 
Oh my god, I caught it! Holy shit! Okay, um, I, I, I thought I was a bit too small to catch this shit. What a shot! Oh! What?! That was perfect! That was perfect as... Cream. Shit, okay. Ishmael Graham, why do I always start the back? Ain't I supposed to be the striker? I can't believe I haven't heard of Rooker Park before. Go in. Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy is shit. I'm a midget. Help me. I'm not, uh, am I the smallest guy on the court? No, I think someone's smaller than me, I think. I'm running, I'm running. I'm making them run, I'm making them run. Get in. Oh, there you go. It's great. Play of the game, let's have a look. I like how most of that was me. I like how most of that was me, yet they showed this guy as player of the game. You are shit. <laughs> player summary. Woo! I actually did really good. Performance grade 78. I am great. Mm. I am really enjoying this game. I'm actually good. <laughs> what do I do? I can't quit it. Oh, there we go. I set the menu. Does that mean the rise is over? Like, most demos, they end really early.